back it's your girl ty and i'm back with another video today i just wanted to come and give you guys a little update on my depression and anxiety since the last time i talked about it um <clears throat> since last time i did go to the doctor and i did try um she put me on some medicine i won't give you all the name or nothing like that but she put me on some medicine for my depression and anxiety and she wanted me to try it for 60 days. I tried it out. Um, I'm supposed to make the decision to stay on it or not. Um, how I feel about the medicine, I feel like the medicine helps with the panic attacks, but I really would rather not deal with the medicine. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to avoid that in the first place, but at this moment, I'm just trying to take all the steps that I can take and seeing what'll work for me when it comes to my depression and my anxiety. Because so far, like before I decided to get on the medicine, I was just, you know, doing my own thing, trying to cope with it and work with work on it the way that I know, you know, that I could. I would do my research and everything and try different things like that. But, you know, it was, it, it helps, but at the same time, it doesn't get you to the point where you need to be. But I mean, it's not like I'm gonna ever be oh, all right all the way, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said before, everybody is fucked up. Everybody fucked up, everybody on problems, everybody dealing with something. So it's like, I know I'm getting better, but I don't wanna have to depend on the medicine, you know? I wanna, I wanna, and then either way, go to medicine, it'll help me with the anxiety. Like, it'll help me with the panic attacks, but I'm still gonna always, you know, have the anxiety. It's, it's supposed to help me with the depression, but you know, uh, I feel like it mainly helps me eat more, um, which is supposed to help you gain weight. And it makes me sleepy. Like, I sleep like, I know the main thing for it is for it to help you to relax and stuff, but it makes me to the point where I don't, I want to sleep all day. Like, I don't want to do anything. It's like, if I do decide that I want to get up or I have to do something, I have to like force myself and push myself. I'll be real sluggish and drowsy all day. So I don't think the medicine is really for me. So I think, um... I am going to work on just any other way that I can do it. Just like I've been doing lately, getting out more. Um, I will try to most likely go see a therapist or something and see how that works for me. Um, but I really would rather not depend on this medicine. Other than that, I really just been handling things the way I've been handling it. Handling it, I had I haven't had any panic attacks since I've been on the medicine since I was on the medicine. I actually stopped taking the medicine. Um but I was I stopped taking the medicine and I had a panic attack. I had a slight panic attack. It wasn't it was like it was coming on, but you know, the way that I usually deal with my panic attacks, I'd like talk to myself, try to calm myself down as much as possible. So doing that method help me still um i do want to talk to my doctor about different other different things that i can do and also like i said go to a therapist counselor whatever i need to go to and work with that um i also want to just start doing more things that i want to do that'll really make me happy and smile more often um because like i work a lot i'm i'm kind of a homebody but I get out. I like to get out. Like the, my things is like that. It give me a little peace of mind is being in nature, um, riding music, and just being with people that I I really vibe with. Like positive people with positive energies, you know. So moving forward, I just want to keep on trying to get better with this depression and anxiety situation, and even and like I also deal with stress added on to that. So. Like it's a lot, but I'm I'm getting better. I'm doing better, and 
as I continue to, to go along this process, I will keep you guys updated. I will give you guys advice and let y'all go ahead and see all the different things that I tried to help me get better. You know what I'm saying? Because that's my main focus right now. Focus on focusing on making sure that Ty gets to where she needs to be mentally, you know, physically also, but mentally is what I'm really focusing on right now because, yay, <laughs> like that's all I'm gonna say. But I would love for you guys to just pray for me, continue to pray for me, continue to uh, like I just want God to continue to guide me. And for me to just keep growing on this journey because I've been growing a lot since this depression that I, I it was really really bad and if you ask anybody especially my family like I'm really in a better place you know I'm really in a better place and it's also like I got in a better place without medicine so what's the point of getting on medicine now and then I I would have to take that medicine for the rest of my life so I would rather try to avoid that um anybody that's dealing with the same issues and y'all found different ways to cope with it or to help y'all can y'all at least you know hit me up let me know those different things that y'all did because i don't mind trying those things like i said i'm trying to get myself together and because it might and, and even though it worked for you it might not work for others but at the same time it might so I don't mind taking you guys' suggestions, you know. So, give me y'all help. I need y'all help. You know what I'm saying? I need y'all help. Y'all need my help. We all need help. You feel me? Yes. But, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Add me on my social medias. And, fuck with the kid. If you ain't join the pack, then make sure you join the fucking pack, guys. <laughs> but I love y'all. Thank y'all for the for the support. Always, always, always. And I see y'all next time. Uh, big fact. Yeah. She trying to choke on these nuts. So I, huh? She asked me to put it in her butt. Now you stupid.